It's a good thing to care and love for ourselves. In fact, it's what you should at the very least expect of yourself to do every single day. But that shouldn't be the only thing that occupies your time. There is this quote from this children's movie I won't name because you'll think I'm nuts for referring to it. But this quote has stuck with me to this day ever since this movie came out. The quote is... What is the point of being number one if there aren't any other numbers? Now that right there is what I would like to talk about today. You are number one, but I am also number one. So to you, everyone is merely whatever number you rank them to be, and for me it's the same. Why is this important? Well, it's important because it can say a lot about your character based on where you rank the people in your life. There is no right or wrong, since you can live as you please. But to me, the way people in my life are ranked now will change depending on what's happening in others' lives that are close to me or are within my reach. Sometimes I'm not even my own number one in the moment, but that's okay, just as long as it's not like that for an extremely extended amount of time. For you, of course, your priorities are different, so mine are different from yours. The definition of compassion, just according to Google's dictionary, is sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering and misfortunes of others. You may be thinking, that sounds awful, and I would hate for somebody to feel that way towards me. But the reality is, I believe we use the word pity in a negative light. Someone taking pity on you isn't always a bad thing. And suffering or not being very fortunate at times is very normal. Dark times. We feel lost. And with no one to be sympathetic towards us, we feel forgotten. People who care to check up on you are taking pity on you. Not because they feel bad, but because they care about you. The golden rule taught to children in schools is treat others the way you want to be treated which should be how it is to an extent. But the reality is, is to just treat others with kindness regardless of the reaction you receive in return. If someone responds negatively to you, just don't associate yourself with them. And if it goes to an extreme, tell someone about it and help to do something about it. Compassion is an important part of living to me because I will never know what everyone is going through, so I won't react to their negative behaviors in a negative way. I simply just bite my tongue and walk the other way. Later, ask them if they're okay, then I'll try again another time. This, to me, is more important than any hatred could ever be.